everyone, this is Hai here from Data Ants. Today I'll be showing you how to create a save search which presents rejected bills in the system and sends out an alert when there is a new rejected bill in the system. Okay, to get started, I'm going into reports, save searches, and either I can go into all save searches and new, or I can just go into list, search, save searches and new. And this would take me to the screen. And I'm gonna search for the type transaction. Here we go. So once we select a type transaction, it's gonna create a transaction based search for us. So we're gonna click on create save search to get started. Okay, so I'm gonna call this rejected bills search. Okay, I can may either make it public, list, um, that's up to you. So first thing we, we want to make sure it's of type bill. So I'm going to type the search for uh, filter type and then in the criteria section make sure it's any of the bills. So right, that's your first criteria. Then the next one you're going to look into is the status. So we want it to be a, any of the rejected bills, right? So, so bill rejected would be the next status. So any other type bill or status is bill rejected. Actually, this is kind of redundant in the sense that the bill rejected sh status should be enough when we choose. But just for the sake of this demo, I'm showing you that you can use type and status. And then the other important piece is the main line. So ma what main line does is it whether you want your transaction to be at the header level or the line level, right? So your bill can have multiple lines. Say for example, you were to purchase uh, like an iPhone uh, and a couple of accessories from the Apple store. So that would mean you have multiple line items where your primary bill would be your total. So I'm just getting the total here. So if you see the details of the bill, uh, which is rejected. So all of these in three are selected here for now. And NetSuite by default gives you a list of columns here, which I guess I wouldn't need. So what I'm, I can either remove all and just add, or I would, I, I feel like um, order type can be removed date. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of these. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to remove. So I'm just gonna click on the remove button here, or I could just remove all and then add one by one. So see who's created it. So there's a created by as well. So name, account, memo. You can add an additional field as needed, obviously. So yeah, once you have those, the next thing to keep in mind is since we want to email it as soon as a new rejected bill comes through. So I'm gonna click on email section here and send email alerts when it records a creator or, or updated. So in here I can add in the recipients. So in our case, I'm just going to put in my name for now. So anytime I, there's an alert, I get an update, right? So I can either click on send on update or only when they're created or updated. Okay. So that's it. I have basically created a save search and the guy can just click on save and run to have the search, um, be sending out new rejected bills whenever there is uh, a bill rejected, you would get an email in your inbox. So you can also click on send on update, which basically what it does is whenever there's an update to that rejected bill, it, you get an update. Or you can also show recent changes and you can copy blank carbon copy someone else. You can also customize a message. You can include the record link, right? Or you can summarize the results and send it. So all of, all of this is possible through this. So I'm gonna click on the thing and click on save and run. 